Welcome to the Little Miss Movies Podcast, where two movie-obsessed parents make their 11-year-old watch movies she'd never watch otherwise. But this time, she makes us watch The Simpsons Movie. choose one for once who, who are you i'm gable i'm well miss movies i'm 11 i'm in sixth grade and i like writing and playing video games and i'm also a girl scout speaking of which it's girl scout cookie season it is girl scout cookie yeah. season but there are massive cookie nationwide shortages. cookie yeah, shortages sorry. <laughs> sorry i just plug for cookies and then we just really That's okay. can't sell them it's okay to plug for cookies yeah whatever well, people can order them online from your yeah website yeah, to have them shipped can. yeah 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 it's in our link tree did link we, tree? we did put it in the link tree i don't know did we we should probably add we it to the link, the link tree if it's not there we have a link tree we have a link tree cool we do check the show notes out okay whose turn is it i'm christina <laughs> i i am i'm a little bit older than 11 uh i'm a writer and a librarian and i am the mother of little miss movies and i'm josh i am Older than eleven, ish, um, <laughs> ish, and uh, I'm a TV writer and other game, other writer thing of comics and stuff. I don't even know what I do anymore. What is life? Oh no. We watch this show where adults adopt other adults. <laughs> is that a job? Can it be a job? Can I, I watch in- YouTube. Is that a job? It is actually. Really? Yeah, you could be a researcher. Be a YouTuber. I worked is, on it. I worked. Though. I worked at a place that made clip shows, and that was like one of the jobs was just like watching stuff. Speaking well, of clip can... shows, yeah. so uh, <laughs> that'd be a good transition. And I'm her. I'm her dad. I'm Little Miss Movies dad. Speaking of clip shows, <laughs> nice segue. Nice. Yeah. Seg- we created this. We're talking about The Simpsons, which has three clip shows. I think. <laughs> Does it? Yeah, the new one. Okay. No, you don't have to look it up. We believe okay. you. Yeah, um, true, so yeah, so so as Gable mentioned, it's a little bit different tonight. We uh, wanted her to watch A Nightmare on Elm Street, and so bribed her by saying that she could uh, lead one of our discussions, and we uh, completely relented and are doing the Simpsons <laughs> movie. I told you, you can also do uh, Encanto, but you said Simpsons. So. Let's do the Simpsons. You deal with the Simpsons. I'll deal with the Simpsons. Well, I think a lot of people are probably watching Encanto right now, and in, in eh, the, the Simpsons movie, I don't know, pe- maybe people missed or uh, want to revisit. I mean, you know, there's Seven Elevens that got transformed into Cookie Marts. Ah, uh, the memories. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the memories of what I just looked up. <laughs> I wasn't alive, so I had to look up Simpsons. Okay, well, why don't you? Did you want to tell everybody why, in particular, you want you wanted to do the Simpsons movie? I love The Simpsons. Okay, when did name a movie? When when did you discover you loved The Simpsons? December of twenty twenty. You're like very specific. Yeah, I remember because we started watching we watched the Halloween ones in, ha- in Halloween uh, October, and then I just kept watching those over and over. And then Daddy told me, you know, there's an actual show too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're like you know. This- it's not just it's not just the Treehouse of Horror. We thought that would stop you from. Were you watching Avatar on repeat at that point? Yes, I was. Were you watching on repeat? Yeah, I was watching Avatar. Just watching Avatar over and over and over and over and over. I think I also ended up going to ponies too. Yeah, I think she was also going to to ponies again. We were just watching My Little Ponies for years. We were all trapped in the house watching the same shows over and over and over, and it was like, oh, there's a respite for us. There was a way out. You then said, "Stop watching The Simpsons." Oh my God! Now she's just watching The Simpsons over. Yes, because this is when. Falls and you guys like stop watching Gravity Falls over. No, we're not. That's fine. You can do that. Okay, I can just watch. Wait, we never trying. told okay. you to stop watching Gravity Falls, but for Good the job. last over over a year now, um, she has watched The Simpsons. I didn't finish. <laughs> also, what do you mean you didn't finish? You guys were eating dinner, and I set me up in the bedroom and I watched the first episode, which is Simpsons Girls Got Up the Fire. Okay. Yeah, that was the rest of my story. So anyway, Simpsons. so the so the Simpsons is on Disney Plus in its entirety, oh, with the exception of the 
the Michael, the Michael Jackson. Jackson There's episode. a couple other ones too, actually. Are, are there? there? Oh yeah, there are. There are. Yeah, the Michael Jackson one got taken out, and there was. You have to find that one if you want to watch that one. It's also not on YouTube, so you have to get the season three DVD of it, which we learned. Which we learned, and we got yeah. you. Yeah, we got we're it. willing to corrupt you for the sake of that episode. Yeah, I just need to watch that one episode. That's it. And also the exception of the newest season, which is thirty three. Which yeah. is on Hulu, if anyone wants to watch that. But I do find it very interesting that you are not the only kid your age to have discovered The Simpsons on Disney Plus and truly embraced them. Not that many kids in my like in my class are into The Simpsons. I see random kids like around school because there's this kid with like a Van Simpsons backpack for when Vans did that. There's some kids that have like Simpsons sweaters and stuff. But I feel like the girls in our Girl Scout troop watch The Simpsons. Oh yeah, girls in our Girl there's, Scout there's troop. There's quite a few kids. <laughs> I've encountered quite a few kids the last year who have really embraced The Simpsons. So, you know, this was a show that came on when I was a teenager and dad was a little bit younger. Um, you know, and we loved it at the time. What what about it resonates with you? I mean, there's there's, there's I have the, no idea. The show goes back 30 plus years. I think because there's just so many seasons, whereas like with like things like Gravity Falls, there's two seasons. So I know every episode. But there has to be a like, reason why you like it. Like, why do you I like don't the know. show? I just like watching it. I feel like it's like something that like I can watch and like I, I can find it entertaining, but like I can't, I don't have to like pay attention to every detail or something. I just have it like playing in the background. And yet you do seem to pay attention to every detail. <laughs> well, yeah, what, I, what I find, what I find most interesting is that she watches it muted. She watches it on one her episode. phone with the captions turned on. It's very strange. What, you want me to bring the TV with everywhere? Do you want me to watch the No, but we'll be, all we'll, the way we will up? be sitting at the dinner table. and we, and we Watching we, adults adopting we, adults. We, we, yes, and Gable will be on her <laughs> phone watching well, do you, closed do you want caption to, Simpsons. From now on, do you want me to have the volume just turned all the way up whenever I'm watching it? And you could just kiss the But I mean, you, but you have to pay attention. You're paying attention to it when you're watching it with closed captions. Like, that's not just on in the background. I guess so. But what, or when you're sitting on the couch and we're not in the room at all. And there's literally two TVs within 20 feet of you. <laughs> and you're just sitting on the couch with the sound turned off, watching it on your phone. I wish my computer with my headphones on. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. <laughs> but there, I mean, you have to like it. Like, what do you like about it? Like, it's what, funny. It's funny. Okay. I mean, are there characters you really like? Lisa. What do you like about Lisa? She's just... That she's just... you in so many ways? <laughs> she's eight. She's also eight. <laughs> well, that's... Good point, Gable. <laughs> point Gable. Nice work, Chrissy. You're done. Go home. You're, drunk. You're done. Go. Um, she. I just like her. She I think she's cool. Okay. So I have to admit that the, the Simpsons movie. Um, I did not see when it came out. Did you, Josh? No. I watched it before you guys with closed captions on our way back from driving from my school. That wasn't Topanga Canyon. <laughs> It's first it's time I ever very, watched it. Very specific information, dear. Yeah. So when what, what year did the Simpsons movie come out? Uh, two thousand seven. Two thousand. That's right. When we were when Josh and I were for, for, it came out during Comic Con, right? Because then they have screenings yeah, during so. San Diego Comic Con. And by that time, I wasn't watching. I think I would occasionally watch it. By that point, I mean I watched it like religiously when you know probably the first ten seasons or so. Um. So we didn't actually see it when it came out. I, I didn't understand why it was a thing that existed. <laughs> it just seemed very strange. Do, do you want me to answer that? Um, sure. Why? Yeah, why? Why? why they they, just like, want, they why? wanted a Simpsons movie. They wanted to make a movie because it was so popular. But so I think it. I kind of looked online about this. And they are originally going to do this an episode later on where Marge starts saving manatees. And they were originally going to have that be the movie. Mm-hmm. But they decided against it, and they waited, and then they decided to do the current plot of the movie. The what? The current plot. Of the oh, movie. the current plot. Yeah. Of the movie. Are, we, are we gonna talk about the plot? Yeah. Okay. Should I? Say do you the want plot? us to explain the plot? Like we make you explain the plot? No, because this is the only one that I can actually do. <laughs> I look forward to hearing you explain it. Please explain um, it. The Simpsons. <laughs> the Simpsons. Uh, Lisa. I think it's Lisa, mm -hmm. right? Who sends a petition to get the lake cleaned? <laughs> it is Lisa. You are leading this, young lady. It is Lisa. Well, Lisa, like, she sees how dirty the lake is, and so she gets a petition to get cleaned. The entire town cleans it up, and then Homer also gets a pig. Um, Spider pig. Spider pig, yeah. Spider pig. He's also Harry, Harry Porker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's important. Isn't it's it not really, really. It's not Peter Porker? 
No, no, he oh, it is Harry Potter. Because Peter Porker is an existing yeah, Marvel yeah, character. Yeah, because well, did, that you, came did later. you write Peter Porker at some point? No, I wrote like, Miles. Peter, I wrote wait. Miles Morehamus, the Miles spectacular Mor- spider. <laughs> oh my the god. ultimate spider ham, rather. <laughs> oh god. That's right. Your um, dad was very proud of it. I and... did I did write uh Peter Porker, ultimate Peter Porker dying in a he was in a two page spread, but that doesn't seem to count. No. I also write I also wrote uh uh Galactus, which is the duck version of Galactus. So you know. I doing what I do. It's Spider Pig and Harry Potter. Okay. They, had, they did. They had. They had, remember they had Harry Potter. So. Mm-hmm. Um. But then Homer dumps a silo of pig poop into the lake, which is toxic, and then the entire town finds out when there's a silo that says, if, "If lost, return to Homer Simpson." Mm-hmm. So then the EPA then puts a dome over the town. Um. To. Is uh, to keep out the. Just cut to cut Springfield yeah, off. Yeah, cut Springfield of the off world. because it's so toxic. It's kind of confusing. But then the Simpsons find out there's a sinkhole in their backyard, so they leave and they go to Alaska. And Homer doesn't want to go back when they're going to destroy the town. But then they go and it's about to get destroyed. Then Homer. Are you about to give it? About to give the ending away? They all. It's die. about to be destroyed. They <laughs> something. So we found out when Gable was really into a movie, she will really tell you a plot uh, point. <laughs> Beat by beat plot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you, do you want me to just tell you even more? No, I'm good. Lisa's a boyfriend. Okay. Yeah. There you go. And Mo's a cult leader. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There you go. Mm-hmm. I gave you more. Okay. <laughs> so, what is the like primary difference between the movie and the show? I mean, one of the main differences that's not like plot or anything is the animation, which um. I know they were originally going to make it 3D, but they wanted to stay true to the style of The Simpsons, I believe. So they made it aspects of a 3D, like the background, they made the characters pop out more and stuff, but it's still true to like the actual style of The Simpsons. The hand animated look. Yeah, that. But it's like more 3D. When well, I think they also like they they pulled like the models got better, so it, actually the show looks better after the movie. Yeah, because a does. lot of the animation that they used in the in the movie, they then pulled over into the cartoon. Yeah, later later on, actually, it was like uh, I think it's like two seasons after the movie or so, because like the movie came out right between I think season eighteen and nineteen. Season twenty is when they changed the animation mm-hmm. um, to make it like the uh, HD. Mm-hmm. So that's when they made it better. Yeah, because yeah, well, it's also because everything's delayed. They animate like the stuff is being animated a year behind. Yeah. Generally, or like I think it's like probably like nine to ten yeah, months. I think. months. Yeah, yeah. I know that much. Yeah. 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 So, do you like the movie? Yes. I I, wa- I we watched it at my birthday party. Mm-hmm. Remember that was the second time I you watched remember. it. Yeah. Oh yes, I do. Remember. Yeah, I watched it in the car, and then I made you guys watch it because I watched some kung fu movie. Which one? I don't know. Enter the Dragon. Oh, yeah, the, that one. The first half hour of Enter the Dragon. You that watched. one. Made you guys watch the Simpsons movie for making me watch that. Mm-hmm. And then we watched it at my birthday. And I think I probably watched it again on my phone. I think you probably have. Probably. Okay. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Uh, my favorite thing in the movie, Gable. That's what? Is uh, the bad guy in the movie is played by an actor, writer, director by the name of Albert Brooks. Who works on the Simpsons? He doesn't actually. He so doesn't. No, why? By a strange always... coincidence, uh, James L. Brooks is the one on the Simpsons, and they are oh. not, they are not related. Really? Despite the fact that Albert Brooks also has a famous brother, um, who his name is uh, Super Dave, Super Dave Osborne, which is also uh, Super Dave Einstein is his real name. Um, but Albert Brooks is his real name is actually Albert, Albert Einstein. Einstein. But you know he changed it. It's <laughs> weird. Um, so Albert Brooks plays the bad guy. He's actually on The Simpsons a couple times. Like he might be. Yeah, I know, I know he's, he is. Ma- he's Max. Pa- what's his name? Max Power. Max, Max Power. Yeah. I think he's Max Power also. Wait, Max Power is the hair dryer. No, it's, what's the name of the bad guy in the, that ep- the episode where they the guy who has the secret layer? What? The one where Homer <laughs> gets a job working for the 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 supervillain. Oh yeah, that's not Max Power. And what's that guy's name? I have no idea. I know it's not Max pa- Max Power. Is the episode where there's a show. Um, wrote the character named Homer Simpson, who was uh, like Homer. So then Homer sees the name Max Power on a uh, hair dryer, so he calls himself Max Power. Man, never mind then. There we go. <laughs> but I, the one with where like Homer gets the job working for the supervillain, and yeah. it's like the best job. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, but I don't, I don't know what. I'm don't, pretty sure Albert Brooks plays. The I don't super know what villain. episode that is. I think it's after the movie. It's like when they changed the animation, but I don't know what the Maybe. character's I don't, name but is. But anyways, I don't know. something like that. Um, 
the thing about Albert Brooks is that he actually kind of pioneered exactly the type of comedy that The Simpsons does, like one aspect of it. So he made a series of movies starting in the 70s um, that are these very sort of like they managed to kind of like jam up absurdism and naturalism. Right. So do you know what absurdism is? Absurd. Right. So what's like like what would be like an absurd joke from The Simpsons movie? Um, there's a very obvious one, which is the thing they put in the trailers and everything. What does he do with What does he do with Spider Pig? He's seeing Spider Pig, and he has him like walk on the ceiling, right? ceiling. It's yeah. like totally right. So it's like totally random. Like it's yeah. like this weird random stuff going on, or like the pig poop exploding, like all those things <laughs> are these totally random things. But the actual drive of the movie is about the marriage, right? It's really about like Homer and Marge's marriage just dis- like dissolving. I mean, I would say it's about loyalty. Yeah, it's about, but those are like, these are these very kind of like grounded things that when you get through all the like histrionics, like when you get through all the sort of like ridiculousness going on around them, it has a very like rich emotional center. And that's the thing that Albert Brooks is like phenomenal at. Like that's really his, like his secret power. Um, Oddly, also James L. Brooks's secret power. He made a movie called Broadcast News, Yeah, um, which is, um, we should make her watch broadcast news. No, there's a movie she won't like. I know um, I didn't like it when I was her age. It made, so there you it go. made no sense. <laughs> um, so. No, but he he makes movies that are kind of the same thing that are also like they have these sort of like broad absurdist sort of bents to them about how people behave. But because of how they behave, because they behave in sort of like extreme ways, they actually end up feeling more normal and more real. Which is why I think that's kind of, I think that's part of why people like The Simpsons. Well, like I, I was mentioning to you, Gable, like my grandma, <clears throat> this would be a show that on the surface, I would have thought she would have completely hated, you know, and especially when it was first out and there was all the absurdity uh, reaction to Bart Simpson. And, I could the man. Yeah. Um, I don't have a cow, man. My grandma loved the show. Like she loved it. Like for years, we always watched it with her on Sundays and it was because like at the end of it all this was a family that truly did love each other and that like really resonated with my grandma so yeah right. despite the absurdity and despite the things that you know maybe she would have found offensive she actually found the simpsons to to the family to be quite endearing and they show it in their own special way they do show it in their own special oh, way trying to murder each other every episode no they always do like one of my favorites is the one where it's when lisa and bart are on the um rival hockey teams oh yeah you know and then at the end they they they, when they face off they just can't do it yeah you know so they throw off their gloves and kind of join join each other so no there is like a deep emotional connection with them so at the end of the day you know they're not a perfect family like we we had seen on tv a lot up until that time but they're a family that loves each other my favorite episode of lisa the vegetarian because of sex words you don't make friends with salad. You don't get don't friends. win. You don't win friends with salad. So how can oh. I, you have a T-shirt that says that? I have a T-shirt that says it. And I wear it all the time. I like how I talk about like a beautiful emotional thing, and yours is just you, you don't, don't win, win friends, friends with, with salad. salad. You don't win friends with salad. <laughs> it's, it's great. So you did you feel that the storytelling in this is true to the show? Yeah. Yeah, and they they end up referencing the movie a lot. Don't they? they do actually in the episode right after um he loves to fly and he does mm-hmm. um the intro is all about the movie it made no sense when but I they it. but they reference the- they do reference there's an episode where mr burns loses his memory and he's like i'm going to put a dome over the town and everyone's like it's already been done yeah and i feel like spider, spider pig, pig yeah, comes spider back pig. a lot and spider pigs Perfect. like at, at the the ride at universal do they reference spider pig on that i think they do i think they do too i think yeah i think i think they do yeah. I want to say it though. Yeah. So how long, like, when did they start working on the movie? Because the show started in 97, right? The what? The show, the cartoon. Yeah, it did. Start before 97? When did it start? 90. 89. 89. Oh, God. <laughs> it's when Zelda came out. It's not when Zelda, <laughs> when Zelda came out, right? <laughs> that, that's Zelda, right? Right, Dada? That's insane. <laughs> right, Dada? That was eight? Ugh. <laughs> Uh no. Oh okay. Well, I found. I, I mean, found it. I found it. If you want to cheat, that's when Zelda came out. It came out earlier in Japan when it mattered. Well, whatever. Um, the movie production began in two thousand one to two thousand and two. 
But oh, the movie wow. came out. The movie came out in 2007. 2007. Yeah. Why did it take so long? Uh, I think it was, was it because they needed ideas? <laughs> uh, so I think what it was is that, uh, first of all, by then, the cast is like one of the highest paid. They're certainly the highest paid voice cast ever. Um, yeah, they're they one of the like highest paid casts in TV because they've been doing it for so long and they're all sort of so, you know, necessary. Um, so I think getting their deals done was a big deal because this is totally, this is a separate contract because yeah. I know people are tuning in for Josh's legal hour. Um, <laughs> but then I also think uh, a lot of it is what you were saying. Like it's about trying to find what is the story that fits the scope of a movie but still feels like part of the show and still feels yeah. true to the characters. I mean, yeah, like like I said before, one of the earlier plot ideas was um, an episode that later became, it's called Bonfire of the Manatees, where Marge starts saving <laughs> manatees. They're originally going to have that as the plot. And then there was another one that was um, pitched, uh, that Matt Groening rejected, where the Simpsons find out that their lives are a TV show, but he said that the Simpsons are never aware of themselves as celebrities. So that idea didn't happen. So they ended up going with, with the, the dome. carriage plot with the dome. Um, I want to ask, here's my question. What's your question? You love The Simpsons so much. Yes. Can I get you to read other things related to The Simpsons? Read and watch. I don't know. Because it's been hard to get you to watch Futurama, but I think you're finally in I'll watch it. Futurama. Yeah, I'll watch Futurama. 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 Um, but then there's also, so Matt Groening before, like where Matt Groening came from, was he did a comic strip in like the like weekly alternative papers called Life in Hell that is amazing. Um, but they're very hard to find. But if I track them down, you'll, you'll read them. <laughs> yeah. Are you making that promise right now? He never published compilations of it? No, they did. They're impossible to find. Are they're they out really? of print. I don't know why. It's weird. Yeah. yeah, I'll read them. There's like a deluxe, like the style of like that Calvin and Hobbes yeah. hardcover. I think there's one of those, but even that's out of print. Oh, wow. Um. Yeah, I would like to point out, like, Gable's love for The Simpsons. I mean, when we go to, you know, because we, we live really close to Universal Studios. Yes. <laughs> and when we go there, you go to Simpsons Land first before you go to Harry Potter Land. That is where we Harry are. Harry Potter Land's overpriced. It's more overpriced than Simpsons. No, it is. Yeah. There's well, chokers the that are 25 bucks. Yeah, the merchandise is pretty Simpsons expensive. Is, Simpsons is Simpsons, mm -hmm. and it's not as overpriced, so. Yeah. So do you want to talk about how you missed the Quickie Mart? Oh, my God. Okay. Um, I wasn't alive. Okay. I was not alive. So when the movie came out as a promotional tool, they tra they uh, transformed 12 Quickie Marts, or 12 7-Elevens. It was just 12? It was 12, yeah. Nationwide? Okay, sure. So, do you want me to check? Yeah. Was it just 12 nationwide? I can check. You can keep talking. Yeah. Okay. I'm looking. I th okay. I think it was that. Um, I'm on my computer, so whatever. It makes noise. Um, and they transformed them into quickie marts. So they changed the outsides, they changed all the colors of the like, gas stations that were attached to them, and then they sell all the, um, quickie mart stuff inside. Mm -hmm. So they had, like, like, they had squishies rather than slurpees. They had Buzz Cola and Duff Beer rather than, like, Diet Coke and stuff. Um, so they made it all Simpsons for the month of July, which was when the movie came out. And I remember they had, um... There was one in Burbank. What? Yeah, there was one. Right, it was like the corner of it's where um, like Clark and Olive meet, like Somewhere right by the, like there. by the lens crafters. Yeah, by the lens crafters we go to, but um, I never went inside. The lines were always yeah. so long to get in. I would that wait in that I one. I never actually went inside. They they, they claimed that that Burbank location sold fifty seven thousand donuts. Oh God, I believe it. I believe that because I think we like attempted to go. <laughs> Yeah. quite a few times and it was always i would wait in that line if you had me then i would wait in that line i'd force you guys to wait in that line oh me. i think if you like if that opened now i think we probably would wait in line for you i would run over and camp we out do there crazy things for our kids did you see how many they had it was 12 12 yeah, was nationwide 12. Mm -hmm. i was right were we the only one like in the los angeles yeah, area so. what it looks like. oh well that's why the line was so long yeah. wow we could have traveled to like you never you never went i feel like you towards the end you did no no i think somebody gave us merch at some point yeah. oh. i don't know where it is but i feel like somebody gave us like a buzz cola or a or a cup i don't remember but i don't know where they would be they have a sign a over ago. they i looked up pictures and they have a sign over the fruit stand that says buy some fruit 
and feel better for the um for the hot dogs or whatever they're Chili called. Dogs. Chili dogs. Chili dogs, yeah. Yes. But mm. you like fruit and you don't like chili dogs. Yeah. Hmm. You're hmm. the anti Homer. Hmm. 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 I'm I'm feeling so. How how did the dogs. movie do? Do we know? <laughs> I'm not running this thing. You gotta ask Gable. She's the expert. No, actually. God damn it, Gable. Hey. You had one thing. You had one thing I to do. The rest. Hold on. I feel like it was regarded well. I feel like people like were sort of surprisingly. Yeah, I feel like I. I mean, you're like, right. Now that I think about it, I think people were like, "Wow, it's actually pretty good." Yeah. Yeah, we still. But it also see it. like it didn't. Yeah, like it didn't. We didn't go see it. It was. It was like a weird. When we were growing up, Gable, there was lots of lots of cartoons and TV shows would do this specifically cartoons and specifically when I was growing up. Because you would just have like Transformers had a movie and G.I. Joe had a movie and My Little Pony was there a My Little Pony movie back then? I don't, I don't there was a Smurfs movie. Oh god, did there's Barbie, two Smurfs movies. Did Barbie Smurfs have a movie? But that came way later. No, looked at well not for not the same time as it was the same time as what's it called? Though? It was uh It wasn't the same time as the, the Transformers movie. But it, the Smurfs one? I feel like it was no, it wasn't the same time as when as the Smurfs heyday in the early eighties. Well, yeah, but it was yeah. the same thing. Like they did the movie version yeah. around the same time. Yeah. Um, and that Transformers movie Gable is very important to gentlemen of my age because what? uh spoilers, Optimus Prime dies in it and all of us learned about death. <laughs> I thought, I thought I thought you were going to say it was very important to guys your age because of Orson Welles. Also, I'm Orson like, Welles. that doesn't make yeah. sense at all. It's important to you, maybe. That, true. that part is also <laughs> true. <laughs> Let's about I don't think it goes a generation. Yes. Of... Orson Welles, Orson like... Welles from Citizen Kane, writer, director, star of yeah. Citizen Kane. He's it's his last role. Like... He plays a, he plays a transformer. I, li- I like to think that a generation of men were impacted by Orson oh, Welles. Oh, Unicron. <laughs> That dynamic performance is Unicron. Whoever he is, whoever that actor is, has forever changed me. Uh, no, yeah, Optimus Prime dies, and uh, it's very, it's like weirdly you graphic. Death from it. Um, yeah, no, <laughs> oh and it my is. God, it's I'm like, dying. and it's like, no, it really is. Like he dies in slow motion, and like says a bunch of stuff that's like, because <laughs> when he dies, he uh, he has to pass on the matrix of leadership, oh, and so funny. like as he's dying, he has a little monologue about. One day, Ultra Magnus, you will pass on oh, the Matrix of Leadership like... to whoever will follow me. I heard the one day. Yeah, Ultra Magnus. I always do that. One yeah, day, Ultra that. Magnus. Yeah, you always say that. Is that kind of like when Gable learned about it in Big Hero Six? Yes. What? Started, That's no, when I sobbing, learned about death. Started sobbing in the theater. That's yeah. when I learned about death. Yeah. Yeah. In Big Hero Six. Oh, oh God, man. you were sobbing. You, you were, were so angry. You were like shriek sobbing at the theater. And I just kept saying, movie. "Honey, it's a Disney movie. He's gonna show up again. Don't worry. <laughs> it's a Disney movie, honey. It's a Disney movie." <laughs> And he did. It's That's, like how- if you're a if you're a a writer or a creator of children's content, uh, just a side note: don't put people being murdered into your content because Jesus, that's your thing. <laughs> like what's it called? I I I wholeheartedly believe that the reason that the How to Train Your Dragon movies didn't do great, the third one, is because there's a murder and they do it in like the most they murdered spoilers they murder the dad they and do? they do it yeah well that's the thing they do it in this like really awkward way. Oh yeah, I remember because they don't that. show it, but it's important, and so all that really happens is the kids are like, "Ah, oh, what just happened?" And so suddenly it's an entire theater of adults being like, "Oh man, the oh, dad is this is some, somewhere." Yeah, horrible. Did you just go? The dad I mean, is somewhere. Well, the, the, the Simpsons, though, traditionally seem to have handled death well. Yeah. Oh yeah, they the, have uh, killed they off quite a few yeah. of their characters. Yeah. I didn't remember that. Uh, like, I didn't know that Troy McClure died for a while. Who? Troy, Troy McClure. Oh. Hi, I'm Troy McClure. Yeah, well, he died in real life. I know Bleeding was Murphy. Does, I don't know about yeah. Edna. Did any, does nobody die, does anybody die in the Simpsons movie? No. No. No? I don't think so. There's some characters that are duplicated in animation on accident. What is it? Like, who? Um, there's, like, a few. I think it was, like, one of them was, like, uh, Patty or Selma, mm-hmm. that they accidentally did one of them twice. Oh, accident, really? like in one of the crowd scenes. Mm. Um, did I you think... find them? No, I, I I looked it up. At some point, I was obsessing over stuff right. about the Simpsons movie. It was like a As few months. It was a few months ago, though. It wasn't prior to this podcast. No, it was, it was literally a few months ago. For some no, reason, no, no, no legwork was done <laughs> for this podcast. <laughs> no, it was like a few months ago. I was like looking at the wiki and everything too, mm-hmm. and there's like yeah, it was like some, some animation stuff. 
Mm-hmm. So I think it was, I think either Patty or Selma um, got duplicated. I want to say Carl got duplicated too. Hmm. Don't quote me on that. I don't know if that's. Okay. Might not be right, but I think for sure it was either Patty or Selma. Okay. You're looking it up. No, I was going to look and see what the box office was and see how, and see how this thing did. Yeah, well, you're doing that. I'm going to see if I can Because there find. was a, yeah, there was a heck of a lot of promotion for I can it. tell you about marketing and release. If you want. Uh, no, it didn't. It, it cost, they estimate $75 million and it made worldwide $536 million. Oh, well, that's not bad. And I'm sure it's done considerably more in other stuff since then. Mm-hmm. And the show's, and 15 years later, the show's still, still going. going. It doesn't still stop. going. It's never going to stop. Everyone knows. I don't know. They're going to start, this, the actors are all getting pretty pretty old. Mm-hmm. I mean, they got licensed, they got licensed for another two seasons uh, last really? season. So they're gonna have at least season thirty four. I'm waiting to get to season fifty four, and then they have to do another Camp Krusty episode. There's an episode where they say "coming" in season fifty four, Camp Krustiest. I they get that twenty more I'm years. Them. Them. Yeah, I don't know. I think you're pushing it. Right. At that point. Don't you care. It but Hank Azaria still looks pretty young and spry. Yes, though. he does. Speaking of Camp Krusty, uh, Camp Krusty was originally gonna be the movie. Camp Krusty was. Yeah. Oh. I forget. They told, told him, got away with that. They, yeah. yeah. Camp Krusty definitely feels like it could be a could be a movie. Yeah. We're doing. Uh, who's the band at the beginning? Did you look up anything about them? Who was the band at the beginning? You're the worst. Is it Green Day? It's Green Day. Uh, how would I know that? Because you were going to do research for this podcast. Hold, hold on. Hold on. I, I can <laughs> look it up right now. What? No, that's not the point. <laughs> I can just look what? it up right now. So if you had to, like, rank it within the show, within like, compared the show? To, with, like, compared to the show, like, compared how Compared to episodes in the show. Okay, well, I feel not like... like... I don't need you to go through, like, an entire list of all the episodes. And all right, but season between... episode one. No, like, but do you, do you feel like the movie is, like, a good... Uh, like would it be like a good uh a good primer or primer depending on which way you want to say it mm-hmm. for somebody? No. No. I feel like someone should watch the show before they watch the movie, or at least part of, or at least like the episodes prior to the movie. Yeah. Because it'd probably make it easier. To well, understand. do you feel like you need to have a pretty good foundation in the world of Springfield before watching the movie? Yeah, I think you have to so- watch like at least a few of the seasons leading up to it because like I mean, it came out after season. Like eighteen, like between eighteen and nineteen, like I said before. <laughs> yeah. Don't you don't need to watch eighteen seasons, but like I feel like if you watch like you, you need at least familiar. like the first few. Yeah, you need to be familiar with the characters. In yeah. Order to appreciate. Yes. Okay. Do you have questions for us about it? Gabriel? Nope. <laughs> You're the worst. I don't, because I was the one who's supposed to lead it, and you guys were supposed to have questions for once. Well, yeah, but we usually ask you questions. As we're leading it, we will then turn it back on you and say, well, Gable, what did you think about blah, blah, blah? So what did you think of blah, blah, blah? Uh, <laughs> sure, really. It's a real slam dunk. This <laughs> kid. What a good fault. Dis- um, I'm disowning her and we get off this thing. <laughs> <laughs> And she's kicking me. I'm glad you amuse each other. That's really what it's for. I'm really glad. <laughs> An hour of us just laughing. I'm glad you amuse each other. I guess my my <laughs> last question for you is: Would you want to see another Simpsons movie, or are you ha- would you rather have more seasons of the show? Because it took a lot of energy. Like it, it looks, it looked like it took a ton of energy from the show to make the movie. Because it was a ton of work for everybody. It looks like they made, from what I saw online, like it took them, you know, the better part of 10 years to get it all together. Mm-hmm. So would you rather they put that energy towards making more of the show or another movie? I think, honestly, another movie. Really? Yeah, because, like, I feel like it'd be real. Like, I know it's like a 40 minute long episode, but I feel like if they put more production and stuff into it, like, that could be a movie and be really good. If they did like one of the previous ideas of doing Camp Krusty if they made that a movie 
and that would be amazing. If they did stuff, something like that, like that'd be really cool. You know, like, but they like, did. So Futurama, Futurama keeps getting canceled. It's gotten canceled a bunch oh, of times. Oh yeah, yeah, I know that. And it's it's coming back again, actually. Futurama. Yeah. At, at the end of my Trees of Horrors, like, and all the canceled shows, Futurama's on those. I'm like, but it's still going. Yeah, it just keeps coming back. Yeah. Um, but one of the times that it came back, it came back as they did this thing where it was like uh essentially a series of movies and then within the movies there were episodes that you could break it up that they could break it up into is it like that comic book that you told me of where like you read the entire thing at the store and then no. you read the first thing everyone it was so. not like that the greatest comic book ever written which happens that, to be that, a futurama comic book yeah it's futurama right yeah it is a futurama do you have that book. i have it somewhere i need to I find wanna it i want to read that Too tell funny. every I tell, like any conversation i have with anybody about comics it comes up like i've had that conversation with like two or three people ago. in the past couple weeks i learned about a few weeks ago um no but so the idea was like they look like movies but then you can kind of cut them up so they look like episodes and then when because when they did them it was still when you were syndicating so you could still shit like sell them and play them on tbs or whatever as well as sell them as movies to netflix (laughs) um they're on netflix they didn't really work though why because it's two totally different than the show well it's two totally (laughs) different things it's it's a bit like the difference between you know painting with oil and painting with watercolors like you yes they're both painting and yes like foundationally they're similar but they're totally different things it's why tv and movies like there's a lot of crossover between the two but to tell make a good tv show is very different than making a good movie like what you need is different the difference between like movies and then i would like to point out when i say it's like the difference between tv and movies it is literally the difference between tv and movies because one is tv and one is movies sorry it's also like a, to make it even more or less clear um it's like the difference like between movies and then like the movie games like the video games that based off of those the are movies. all just terrible those are all, those yeah are but if they actually put like money. good effort into them, like the simpsons road rage then they're good yeah i don't know how those turned out decent because yeah i don't know how those are like how i still like that bart's nightmare game that's terrible <laughs> still have fond memories that of not so understanding hard. how it worked i like how you get better at me you you did better well i played it me. i played it non-stop when i was 12 one of my friends did better than me at it which i don't know how it's possible because it's her first time doing I it i like that the game is so convoluted that we had to watch a youtube video that explained yeah, things to me did. that i did not know in the yeah, we, 30 years of playing it including I learned, having read the instructions from that i learned that you're supposed to collect the pages you're not just supposed to count the pages of Bart's homework. You're not supposed to. As somebody who's never played that game, I do you have no play idea it? what you people you wanna, are talking wanna, about right now. Do you want to go get now. that for Yeah, you. let's go play it. I'm good. I'm good. It's, but it's very fun. Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, we played Road Rage. Road Rage is actually good, though. It's okay. I like it. It's Crazy fun. Taxi, but not as good as Crazy Taxi. But it's The Simpsons, so you can, so you can pick Master so Paul and have him sing a song. I have no idea what you people are talking so Gable. about. You played Road Rage. So Gable. Yeah. I think it's that time. What you guys have to do it this time. Okay. So go ahead. So Joshy smiles, Kristen smiles. I don't have any of those. <laughs> Joshy frowns, that will count as smiles. <laughs> and you Kristen. do have those. Yeah, Joshy frowns, that are um, smiles. I'd probably give it like three and a half. Mm. You're dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how that feels? Yeah. Yes. Huh. I knew. That does hurt. What about you? I think I'd go about the same. You're dead to me. <laughs> I think I can live with that. Mine's a 11. Yeah. Out of Point. five? You're going to ask us if we recommend... Better than Citizen Kane is what you're saying. <laughs> everything. Clear. Simpsons is better than everything. Better than everything. But Prisoner of Azkaban is best. So. And Jaws. Everything's better. Simpsons and Prisoner of Azkaban are best. I thought Jaws was... Jaws is right under there. I thought Jaws... Jaws gold... is at five. Jaws was the gold standard. Jaws is at seven. Hmm. But then Simpsons movie is at 11. This one goes to 11, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then Prisoner of Azkaban or the Phoenix. I mean, we might far. be able to get her to watch Spinal Tap just for the sake of telling her that <gasps> Harry Shearer is in Yes. It. Would you like to watch a movie that stars uh, the guy who does... Mr. Burns, Mr. Burns, Smithers, and Mr. Burns voices, and he does. I think. Wait, hold on, I'm looking. I'm looking at the cast list over here. Oh, what? Wait, who is it? It's Harry Shearer. Harry Shearer. Still so scratchy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's kind of random. Um, known he, for the does he Simpsons. do Ned as well? Yeah, he did Ned. He did Skinner. Does, does. does. he does Ned? I don't think I ever knew that. I'm looking. Hold on. I'm looking. I clicked on his thing. It's not showing me. We're gonna what show he does. you this movie. 
maybe we'll get to there. Uh, but actually, mm-hmm. next week we're gonna do uh, your your mom for uh, we're recording this on Valentine's Day because I Valentine's Day. We still don't go anywhere out of fear of life through the universe. Mm-hmm. Um, and so for a Valentine's Day gift, uh, Gable sat down and watched uh, one of her mom's favorite movies uh, this week, which is a movie called what, Gable? Scarfish. It's actually pronounced Scarfache. It's not pronounced Scarfache. <laughs> oh, yeah. He also played Kent Brockman. Oh, yeah, I'm just okay. kind of listening to these now. So Scarface, uh, not starring Al Pacino. <laughs> <laughs> we are not doing that one. We are not saying hello. To, and to, to anybody's little, little friend. friend. No. I still need to ask you the question. What? Would you what? recommend this movie to all your friends? Oh. I mean, I think if I have friends who have never seen it and are Simpsons fans, sure. We would say it like this. Uh, yeah, it's good. It's all right. Uh, yeah. It's all right. That's the voice we'd use. It's, it's all uh, right. You guys both suck. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's not the questions. That's the question. <laughs> Like did, did, did you like this movie again yeah. it's all right yeah. you guys both still suck i think she's like really enjoying telling us we suck <laughs> yeah it's very fun now hmm. all right all right tweeny do you have uh do you have any parting words no <laughs> not really i can tell you the simpson movie uh thing the what? tagline what's the tagline see your family and feel better about yours no, no. We will see you guys see back you guys here next time in a week. Good job, Gable. Yeah. Say good job, Gable. Good job, Daddy. God damn it. <laughs> see you next time. Bye. Bye. See ya. The Little Miss Movies podcast is hosted by Josh Fialkov, Gable Fialkov, and Christina Rice. We're recorded, mixed, and produced in North Hollywood, California. Series art by Gabo. Episode art by Gable Fialkov. Theme song by Joshua Fialkov. All content's copyright 2022, Valoria Shines, Inc. Visit us online for more at littlemissmovies.com.